Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem F5-5 from R.C. Hebeler Engineering Statics 15th edition. According to this problem, the 25 kg bar has a center of mass at G. If it is supported by a smooth bag at C, a roller at A, and cord AB, we have to determine the reactions at these supports. Now to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw the free body diagram. So at point A, I have a roller support. So I have a vertical support reaction. Then at the point G, there is a center of mass. So I have the weight acting in a downward direction. I have a normal reaction because of this peg at C. So it is perpendicular to the segment AD. Also, I have a force due to this cable or the cord AB. So let's label them. This right here is AY, this is NC, and this is the weight which is 25 into 9.81, which is equals to 245.25 Newtons. And we have a tension due to this cord AB, so TAB. Now I can resolve this TAB force and the NC force into their respective components along the horizontal and the vertical axes. But I am not going to do it now until unless I find the NC force. Because in this condition, it is much easier to find the support reaction at the pack C. How? Let's see. So if I apply my first equation of equilibrium, which is summation of moments at point A equals to zero, I'm considering the counterclockwise direction as positive. We can see that the line of action of the AY and the TAB force is passing through the point A. So these two forces do not have any moment arm with respect to the point A, which is serving as our pivot point. So these forces will not produce any moment about point A. The weight force is trying to rotate the bar in clockwise direction, so the moment produced by this weight force will be taken as negative. So I have negative 245.25 and the moment arm is this horizontal distance. Which is actually 0.5 cos 30. The NC force is trying to rotate the bar in counterclockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by the NC force will be taken as positive. So we have positive NC and the moment arm since NC is perpendicular to the bar AD so the moment arm is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 meters, so 0 0.7 meters in total, equals to 0. So from here, NC comes out to be 151.71 Newtons. So this is our first answer. Now we can resolve the TAB force and the NC force into their components. To find the values of AY and the TAB force. So if I resolve the TAB force, then I have two components, one in the horizontal direction and one in the vertical direction. Let's label them. This right here is TAB sine 15 because this angle is 15. And the horizontal component is TAB cos 15. Also, I have to resolve this NC force along the horizontal and the vertical axis. So let me just zoom in. So I have one horizontal component and one vertical component. And we know that if this angle is 30 degrees, 
what the bar makes with the horizontal, then this angle also has to be the 30 degrees because they are alternate angles, so they are equal. And we also know that, that the NC is perpendicular to the rod AD. If this angle is 30 degrees, then that angle has to be 60 degrees. So the components would be NC sine 60 and the horizontal component would be NC cos 60. So now we have resolved the forces into their respective components. So for TAB force, we can do summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering the right hand side as positive. So we have TAB cos 15 minus NC cos 60. And it is negative because it is acting in the left hand side direction. And we have considered the right hand side as positive equals to 0. So TAB is equals to NC which is 151.71 times cos 60 divided by cos 15. So from here TAB comes out to be 78.53 Newtons. And this is our second answer. Now for the force Ay, we can do summation of forces in the y direction equals to 0. I am considering the up direction as positive. So we have Ay plus Tab sine 15 minus the weight force which is negative 245.25 newtons and we have the vertical component of the nc force so nc sine 60 and could be taken as positive nc sine 60 so if equals to 0 so if i substitute the known values then i would have ay plus tab tab is 78.53 into sine 15 minus 245.25 plus nc nc is 151.71 newtons so 151.71 into sine 60 equals to 0 so when we simplify it ay comes out to be 93.54 newton And this is our third answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts in the free body diagram and in the resolution of the forces into their respective components, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.